guys it's Jessie welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video and another reading vlog this one is going to be a little bit of a different type of reading vlog because it is also a travel vlog so I am off to Morocco tomorrow morning which I'm super duper excited for I'm going for four nights and five ish days I believe five days Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. yeah five days and I am just gonna be bringing my kindle because I don't want to carry too many books and things like that because we're only traveling hand luggage so this is going to be reading on my kindle for a week slash you know travel vlog as well um i'm hoping to get at least three books read i think on the plane and also like just chilling at the Riyadh and things like that i think i'll have plenty of time to read so i have a little bit of a tentative tbr none of these are like set in stone but they are definitely on my radar firstly i want to read a new release that i'm super duper excited about and that is gray after dark by noelle w illy um she wrote ask for andrea which has been my favorite book of the year so far i absolutely love that thriller and this came out on friday the 20th second i go on sunday the 24th so obviously i want to get to that i also would love to read when in rome by sarah adams i want to read the second book practice makes perfect sometime in the next few months and i bought this on my kindle for like 99p um so i'd love to get a quick easy romance read um also natural beauty by ling ling huang this is a book that i'm reading for the book club that i'm in and this is our march book pick so i'd love to get that read and also there's other books i have on here nothing that i'm super set on potentially i'd like to reread the last daisy hates book there's love redesigned on here ninth house ashton the starkest king like there's a few other options for my like final book i guess or you know one of the last books depending on how much i get read so yeah we'll just kind of see what i pick up um this isn't going to be like a regular reading vlog in that i'm updating like every page mark or just kind of be updating when i have the time rather than like when i get to certain pages so it might be like double updates and then only like half a book update like who knows but um i'm super duper excited so i will see you tomorrow morning when we head off to morocco Tell you a secret Nothing ever works out how you want I always believed that Eventually all good things fall apart But when I think about All the times I wondered if I Hey guys, sorry about the like dodgy background But I'm updating from Marrakesh, obviously I don't think I've actually spoken to you guys since being here but we had a really nice first couple of days we did a little walking tour around the medina which was super cool and then yesterday we did a little traditional cooking class which was great today we are headed up to the atlas mountains to do a little trek which i'm super duper excited about i think this is gonna be my favorite day but i have not got as much reading done as i had planned i thought i'd be doing like a book a day but that is not the case we had to swap around because of some rain we were going to spend a day at the country club like just chilling by the pool and stuff and i was expecting to read a lot there but yeah just have not done as much reading as I thought. I also slept most of the time on the plane over here because we were up at like half three to get to the airport in time but I am now about 35% through the last word because when I looked on the plane I went to click on Grow Before Dark and then went in Rome and they were all not downloaded on my Kindle and obviously it was on airplane mode because I was on the airplane so I couldn't read them so that was a little bit of a hurdle but it's fine I'm really enjoying the last word so far I'm hoping to actually finish it today because it's two hours to the Atlas Mountains in the little transfer car so I should have some good time to read there but this is very much a suspense thriller it's not really a mystery it's about a girl who is kind of house sitting this abandoned house she leaves a one star review of a book and then the author or at least it appears to be the author comes to kind of kill her pretty much is the vibe we're getting so far and uh, we know this from like 35 percent in so it's not like a mystery but it's super suspenseful just like her last book uh no exit which i also read so yeah i do need to kind of get up and go so i'll give more thoughts later but yeah just a little update Feels like fixing broken bones with Tylenol. 
guys so it is the next day and very sadly we are going home today but yesterday we did go to the atlas mountains also i think they're cleaning the little riad so sorry if you feel like a hoover but yesterday we went to the atlas mountains which was amazing and obviously i did put in a lot of videos and stuff like that but i did end up finishing the last word on my kindle and completely unexpectedly gave it a five stars i thought it was so good from about the 30 percent mark i would say i was like fully hooked in i like could not put it down i was reading all the way in the car home yesterday and then we got back and i was reading more i was like absolutely obsessed with it the tension was so strong and i thought it was really really good it definitely isn't the type of like thriller mystery with like an unpredictable twist it's very much like tension and suspense type of thing which i definitely enjoyed and i liked it even more than i liked no exit um from the same author so yeah very very surprisingly gave it a five stars i like teared up at the end i really really loved it and i was rooting for the main character so much i loved her her dog Laika was so cute i was just obsessed that i thought it was such a good story and a really like excellent book like i really enjoyed it it's like a suspense thriller i thought it was one of the best that i've read um but yeah unfortunately i've not done as much reading as i wanted to on the trip obviously we still have some time left and i am going to be reading a book a day for a different challenge so you know we're a little bit behind but that's fine so yeah I'm, i've not got around to anything on my tbr like little kind of tentative one for this video um because obviously they weren't downloaded but i have now started when in rome i did read a tiny bit of this um the other day but now i'm on page 141 which is 42 percent of the way through i've been reading a bit of this kind of yesterday and also this morning and i'm really liking it it's a very cute little small town romance it's about a pop star who is kind of trying to like have some time away and her car breaks down outside this guy's house in rome kentucky he lets her stay with him and it's just like very cute vibes from there i like the small town vibes it's very like easy read cute little rom-com so i'm having a really fun time with it at the moment i mean it's sitting like a solid like four star obviously we're only 40 percent in but like i definitely could see you know myself enjoying it i enjoyed the cheat sheet by the same author and i do have practice makes perfect that i want to read soon so good vibes all around but yeah we read a little bit on the terrace earlier today um, which was really really nice and then yeah we're heading to the airport and i will hopefully finish this on the plane i believe my kindle is telling me that i have um two hours 30 left in here so i should definitely finish this at some point on the flight and then after that i should hopefully be able to pick up another book that i was hoping to get to maybe after dark or natural beauty we will see um but yeah and then i'll give a little final update uh when i get home and hopefully ironically the travel vlog will have been the first part and then the actual reading vlog most of it is going to be done in the last two days but you know what? it's fine um but yeah i've had such a nice holiday it's been lovely it's been a little bit rainy at the first half but now it's super sunny and yesterday was also super sunny and it's just been such a lovely little time i can't wait to come back to morocco and marrakesh but yeah i will catch up with you after i get home unfortunately i'm tired of all this pain when it isn't my fault i want to scream at the wall but when i think about all the times i wondered if i neck it out then i'm still standing here with both feet on the ground hello it is a couple of days later now and i am back obviously from morocco so i just wanted to close out this video chat to you a little bit about when in rome and the other book that i did start so another really unexpected love for me i gave when in rome five stars who is she i love this one so much i literally couldn't tell you why um i was just obsessed with it like the characters i loved the main character i loved as well this reminded me a little bit of heartless by elsie silver just in the main male character the way that he's like kind of grumpy but actually like really sweet do you know what i mean like and i like this form of grumpy sunshine where the guy's grumpy but he's not like grumpy to everyone except the main character he's just like closed off but like with his family and stuff he's really really friendly and i loved it i loved the chemistry i loved that the kind of third act conflict didn't really seem to be like a miscommunication thing it wasn't like between the love interests i really loved how things panned out because this was definitely one where i think the you know ending could have ended up with one of them kind of having to compromise on their dreams but i don't think that that happened i really really liked it i loved the couple i loved the town i loved the side characters everything about it i literally adored this was such a cute little romance book so i think if you're looking for a fun romance a little palette cleanser this would be absolutely perfect like i don't see how anyone could like not like like it if that makes sense like you might not love it but like i think everyone would probably like it i gave it five stars i was just obsessed with it i can't lie so i did then start a little bit of love redesign but i think i'm going to read this for a different video so i'm only about 10 percent through but i am enjoying it it's kind of fun um i have read lauren asher before and i do like her books um but yeah i was expecting to read a lot more for this video as you guys know i'm trying to do my 30 books in 30 days so i was meant to be reading like five books in the time i was away and i read two so that was fine i've just got more catching up to do but that's a different video's problem um but yeah i just wasn't really 
booing as much as I had expected to but I think definitely quality over quantity because we had two five star reads and these were both like not five star predictions very unexpected five star so I'm like over the moon at that especially considering I think I had one five star in January none in February and then two now in March which I'm just buzzing about I'm so so excited and feeling really good about my reading so yeah these are two super high recommendations for me um also just in general I had an amazing time in Morocco um we were in Marrakesh and it was just gorgeous we stayed at this little Riyadh called Riyadh Darzaman and it was so cute everyone that we met was like so friendly the Atlas mountain trip we did was great the weather wasn't fab the first couple of days but overall it was just a really great trip and it definitely got a lot sunnier towards the end so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video I know it wasn't super reading vlog focused but I did want to kind of take you guys with me on my little trip um kind of mainly for memories but also you know I was going to read on my kindle so I thought I might as well share that with you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you like this don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn the bell for a little club make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video and if you want to watch my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye